A bench is one of the most versatile pieces of furniture you can have in your home. Not only does it provide extra seating for guests, but it can also be a beautiful place to showcase books, plants, and decor. And with the right design, the bench itself can be a piece of art worth displaying. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a bench using several small pieces of wood to create a mosaic-like surface that's sturdy enough to seat friends and ornate enough to display. I'm Todd Dermody, and this is Done DIY. Our bench top is made up of several blocks of wood, each cut to two inches in length. This video gives you the instructions for our design, but you can get creative here and make your own. Using a saw and a two inch jig, make vertical cuts at exactly two inches long. For our design, we're cutting the following pieces. 32 two by twos at two inches long, 16 two by threes at two inches long, 32 two by fours at two inches long, and 24 two by sixes at two inches long. Once you've cut all your pieces, sand the ends down to smooth out your cuts. Now it's time to plan your design. Our design makes a bench 15 inches deep, which means we'll have eight rows of two inch long wood blocks set on their ends. Each row will contain four two by twos, two two by threes, four two by fours, and three two by sixes. You don't have to make each row identical, but keeping the mix consistent will help make the length of your rows equal. Lay out your pieces in your desired design and measure the rectangle they create when snug against each other. Ours measured 12 inches by 41 and 3 8 inches. Cut a piece of half inch plywood to that size and lay the pieces in their pattern on top of the plywood piece by piece. Use wood glue on the side and bottom of each piece to adhere them to the neighboring pieces. Clamp all of the pieces together using scrap boards on each of the four sides of the rectangle and let everything dry overnight. Once all the pieces are dry, you can remove the clamps and scrap boards. Now it's time to make the frame for the bench surface. To do this, cut four more pieces of two by three, two pieces at 12 inches long, and two pieces at 44 and one half inches long. Turn your bench seat upside down so that the plywood is on top. Attach the four two by threes to the sides of the bench using three inch screws. We'll apply a few coats of epoxy over the next steps. So make sure you have a clear workspace where your bench will be undisturbed for at least a week of drying time. Now sand the top surface. When everything is smooth, remove the sawdust with compressed air, a tack cloth, or a rag soaked in mineral spirits. The first coat of epoxy is Mirror Cast's thick filler epoxy, which will fill any gaps, cracks, or imperfections in your bench surface. Mix the Mirror Cast epoxy according to the package directions and spread it across the bench top. Once the cracks and imperfections are filled in, let your bench top dry for about seven days. We'll apply mirror coat epoxy to seal. With your bench level, mix a thin coat of epoxy and apply to your bench top. Let dry completely. Repeat this step and add an additional thicker coat of epoxy and let dry completely. For the final step, flip your bench top upside down and place your tubular steel legs into position. Secure the legs with inch and a half screws. Now your bench is complete. Thanks for watching and see you next time.